all right everybody welcome back to the channel uh big boy sports here um yeah man let me tell you uh, the ifl is kicked off uh it's what another season <laughs> i was about to mess up there with my numbers because i can't i can't remember numbers but the season kicked off last night um as far as other leagues go i'll talk about um, other leagues really quick here. Um, CIF, I'm not watching the CIF this year. Uh, didn't watch them last year. Not going to watch them this year. There's already a problem with the CIF already uh, before the season even starts. <laughs> um, you know, get the West Texas Warbirds, you know, because, you know, um, they can't seem to get their materials ready. <laughs> there was already a problem there. Um, CIF just like a, a, like it's it's so close to being a dumpster fire. The AAL is a dumpster fire, and they started well, what Friday? A uh, very surprising upset. I don't know why West Michigan is still in the American Arena League, but they are. Uh, but that's not the point of this conversation here today. Um, if you've seen me, if you watch the IFL games, you've seen me in the game chat. Um, <laughs> just spouting my two cents on some of these players and some of these games and stuff like that you know of course correcting people uh because i have to i really have to you know get the information and correct um sometimes because i i still don't know everything myself uh but there, there's a lot of dumb questions that get asked in the ifl group chats on the youtube live streams and it's really annoying along with the bots uh those are also very annoying <laughs> when you watch the games, like those bots, all those games are extremely annoying. <laughs> but we only had two games this week. Um, one last night, one this afternoon at 2 o'clock. I mean, it ended about an hour ago. Um, and so let's talk about the first game of week one, which was Quad City. The Steam Wheelers taking on the Cedar Rapids River Kings. And the River Kings last year were not great. Um, attendance was bad. The team was bad. And this year, it could be the same thing. Let me actually, I actually had the um, um, the um, the what you call it, the uh, the the the, in, the, uh, the previews and stuff like that. Uh, like, like there was there was like a whole thing on Twitter with the preseason polls and everything uh cause I didn't I didn't even look at that at all but uh real quick um let me take a look at that preseason poll ranking stuff oh wow um did the account just get deleted what the hell hold the phone hold the phone here Did the, did the IFL account just get deleted? Oh dear God! Okay, something was wrong, but um, something was wrong. I thought the account had got deleted for a second there. Uh, but yeah, let me take a look at those um, those preseason you know rankings real quick, cause um, yeah, those those were a thing, and you know, in the um, at the bottom is the River Kings. Obviously, they went one and thirteen last year. Uh, did not look great last night. Um, for most of it, Quad City was just all over EJ Hilliard. Um, I forgot to highlight this guy. Man, that is one hell of a good quarterback. Let me tell you right there. He is a good guy out there throwing that ball um, and running it. He, he, like, he only threw it like maybe like 10 times last night. Um, and he didn't need to throw it. Did not need to throw the ball at all. And the 50-yard game, you know, it's a lot easier to get a bunch of yards you know, because it's more pass oriented and stuff like that. Um, but the IFL is also kind of run oriented as well. It's not like uh, the National Arena League where it's just pass, 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 pass all the time, um, and usually passing from under center um, for the NAL. 
um, shotgun, very persistent in the in the indoor football league. Very persistent pistols. Pistol formation is also a thing, and I love the pistol formation. Um, so majority of the time it'll be either shotgun or under center. You know, one running back in the backfield. You 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 all should know this by now. Uh, but yeah, let me take a look at those preseason rankings really quick. Uh, they got the Storm, the Sioux Falls Storm, the champions from last year at number one. Numero dos is the Arizona Rattlers, the runner-ups. Numero trace is Dixie Wooten and the Tucson Sugar Skulls. Um, numero four, I don't know why I keep saying numero, uh, but the Green Bay Blizzard, uh, they were... They were, they were something last year. They were definitely something. I think they advanced at one point in, in, in the um, playoffs last year. And then number five, obviously, it has to be the Spokane Shock, led by Billy Back and McCollum. Um, especially Billy Back. Man, that guy from Carolina, he, he, he's, he's going to have something. I'm, 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 de I'm definitely telling you. Uh, the, the rest here, you know, Quad City, Iowa. I don't know why I was ranked so lowly here. I mean, there's obviously been a lot of roster turnover. Um, Duke, Duke City, Frisco, which is at number nine. Don't really know why. I don't think Frisco's going to last very long. Like I said in the chats, if you watched, um, if you were in the chats, uh, interacted with me, I don't think Frisco's going to last very long because it's Frisco. Um, and then you have San Diego, Bismarck, o Oakland, um, Oakland Panthers, led by Marshawn Lynch, and well, Marshawn Lynch owns the team, and then the River Kings at dead last, and yeah, there, there, there's going to be some turnover right now because you know it's a it's a weird time because there's 13 teams in this league, and really there should only be like 12, but you know it is what it is. But you know, 17 week season, and we only have two of the first 91 games of the season ready and up at center, but. Um, yeah, so the final score from last night was 54-39. to 39. The Cedar Rapids River Kings fall to the Quad City Steam Wheelers. Um, as far as, hold on, because I am dumb. Hold the phone there, because I um, already forgot the score uh, for the uh, Bismarck game, because Bismarck did indeed lose. It was actually a very good game, to be completely honest with you. Very good game, 50-36. Uh, to 36. Yeah, the score was a lot closer than it. Yeah, I mean, the score was a lot wider than it was indicated, but the strike, but Bismarck played very, very tough with San Diego's very good game. A bunch of kick returns, well, a couple of kick returns for touchdowns. Uh, Ty, uh, Taz Wilson, not very good though. I will say that Taz Wilson was not the greatest in this game. He was overthrowing guys a lot. He, he threw like ten passes that were just complete overthrows. Um, Carrillo, I think, was the quarterback for San Diego. Um, I, people were some people were a bit confused as to why he was the quarterback. I mean, I guess he just won the job again. I'm just I'm just getting this information as everybody else is. We're you know. Like it's hard to follow up the IFL during the off season because the off season is during NFL season and stuff like that. But uh, fifty to thirty six was the final of that game, and it was a good game to the very end. Of uh, San Diego's uh, on, on kick returns though, gotta gotta y'all gotta get y'all hands together. My goodness, so many butterfingers, and yeah, Bismarck kicked it a little low because of the Rita uh, has the big giant scoreboard. It's not the greatest. Uh, it's just a big old giant scoreboard, and you have to kick really low. But uh, for a game on a Sunday afternoon like this, it was great. Uh, fun game. Ugh. Very much, very much good game, yeah, and everything like that. But yeah, this week, this week's two games were good, very good games. I gotta tell you. Um, I, I mean, you know, you, you, you can just, you know, go on ahead and go to YouTube and watch the games, you know, that are um, that are already archived and everything like that. You know, just go ahead, get out there, go watch them if you haven't already. Or, I think they'll make some highlights later on in the week. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it from here. 
Um, just wanted to go over some more things here um, as far as, you know, the IFL goes because we got a long season to go, baby, um, for the next 20 weeks or so until we get to August when the NAL is over. Um, so we got a long way to go, and it's going to be fun. I guarantee you it will be the best ride of our lives. So stick around um, because, you know, like again, the IFL is here it's here to stay uh, as pretty much the top dog in as far as arena and indoor football goes pretty much the top dog at this point there's no arguing uh, and despite what some people may say uh, yada yada this is a tier two league yada 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 or something like that this is the highest level of arena football this is the highest level of indoor football in general and so glad to be back here for my second season watching this league alongside the rest of you guys. Uh, and if you want, you know, if you want to educate me on something, please, please, please come on down, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. And, you know, just get everything ready for week two because week two is right, right around the corner. In fact, week two starts on a Thursday night with Frisco. Uh, so we'll be making a preview for that this week. And as far as the other videos goes this week, um, aside from the IFL preview, there will be another video with some basketball-related stuff because we got a lot of talk about there um, before uh, the selection show, which I'll make a video on that, I believe, on after it's over on, like, Sunday. But, yeah, that's going to do it, everybody. hope you guys enjoyed the games today and last night. Um, I certainly did. Big boy is out. Peace.